In this video, we will guide you through CDC's average BMI growth charts. These charts help us understand whether the BMI of a teen falls within a healthy range for their age and gender. Right now on your screens, you can see the CDC's growth charts. To read these charts correctly, you must first understand the concept of percentile ranges. A percentile indicates the position of a teen's BMI in comparison to others who fall within the same age and gender group. Here's a table explaining what the CDC's percentiles mean. Let's read these charts with some examples. Right now on your screen is the average BMI chart for girls aged between 2 to 20 years. So let's say your daughter is a 13 year old. Scroll down to the bottom of the chart, trace the line showing age in years and find the number 13. The next step is finding her BMI. Use the BMI formula or a BMI calculator to find out her current BMI. In this case, let's assume her BMI is 19. Now check the BMI column on the right side of the chart. Trace the line that starts from 19 on the BMI column and see where it intersects with the line starting from 13 on the age column. It meets at this point on the curved line that has been numbered 50. The 50th percentile stands for average healthy weight. Therefore, this girl has a healthy BMI. What does this result mean? It means that she is healthy and must focus on sustaining her health rather than increasing or reducing her weight. A diet providing the recommended calories for her age and moderate physical activity should be enough to keep her healthy. Now let's take the example of a 14 year old boy whose BMI is 24. On your screens is the BMI chart for boys aged 2 to 20 years. If you trace the point of intersection between his age and BMI, it meets here. This point sits on the curved line that represents the 90th percentile. This indicates that his BMI is higher than 90% boys of his age. If you go back to the percentile table, you will notice that his BMI falls within the overweight category. This teen may have excess body weight for his age and height. Now let's move on to another example. Let's say there is a 15 year old girl whose BMI is 16.5. Here's a CDC growth chart for girls aged between 2 to 20 years once again. As we trace her BMI and age on the chart, we can see that it intersects with the curve representing the 5th percentile. This suggests that her BMI is lower than 95% girls of her age, therefore she is in the underweight category. In this case, the girl has to focus on improving her nutritional and caloric intake to increase her overall body weight. We hope that this video has been helpful to you in decoding and understanding the growth charts. Reading growth charts is fairly easy once one learns what the lines, curves and numbers signify. They can help you make the right health choices for your teens during their crucial growth phase and help children grow into strong and healthy adults.